the Memra and the Logos. When God's Word dwelt alive amongst humans. A proposition by Dr. Galen Currach. Memra is the Word of God. In Hebrew, Ma'amar or Dibber. In Aramaic, Mamar. And in Greek, Logos. According to the Jewish Encyclopedia, the word Memra, in the sense of the creative or directive word or speech of God, manifesting his power in the world of matter or of mind, a term used especially in the Targum as a substitute for the Lord when an anthropomorphic expression is to be avoided. Proposition First century CE Jews were familiar with the term Memra, which they often employed in the place of the name of God. Early Jewish Christians chose this term as a title for Jesus, whom they understood to be the presence of God incarnate in human flesh. Biblical Examples of the Memra the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, Your reward shall be very great. The Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made. The Lord sent out his word and healed them. Rabbinical Examples of the Memra The Holy One, Blessed be he, created the world by the word. Your word preserves those who put their trust in you. Your almighty word leapt down from heaven. The word went forth from the right hand of God and made a circuit around the camp of Israel. Examples of Memra from the Targum, that is, Bible translations from Hebrew into Aramaic, with comments. According to the Jewish Encyclopedia, in the Targum the Memra figures constantly as the manifestation of the divine power or as God's messenger in place of God himself. Instead of the scriptural, you have not believed in the Lord, the Targum has, you have not believed in the word of the Lord. Instead of I shall require vengeance from him, the Targum has, my word shall require it. The word, instead of the Lord, is the consuming fire. Not his hand, but his word, has laid the foundation of the earth. More examples of the mediatorship of the Memra. The word brings Israel nigh unto God and sits on his throne receiving the prayers of Israel. My glory I shall put among you, my word shall be unto you for a redeeming deity, and you shall be unto my name a holy people. The word will roar together the exiled. In the word the redemption will be found. Examples of Memra from Jewish philosopher Philo Judaeus of Alexandria. The word of God is over all the world, and is the most ancient, and the most universal of all the things that are created. God appointing, as their immediate superintendent, his own right reason, Logos, his firstborn son, who is to receive the charge of this sacred company, as the lieutenant of the great king. The Father who created the universe has given to his archangelic and most ancient word, a preeminent gift. And this same word is continually a suppliant to the immortal God on behalf of the mortal race. Examples of Memra from Early Jewish Christians In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. The Word of God is living and active, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart, and no creature is hidden from his sight. 
he is clothed in a robe dipped in blood, and the name by which he is called, is the Word of God. Conclusion The first century Christian Jews who composed the New Testament writings borrowed Jewish concepts and vocabulary from their scriptures and from their philosophers, applying these to Jesus in order to demonstrate that Jesus is the Word of God incarnate.